And yes, we are watching something else in the Gulf. We're not done with the season just yet. We'll talk about that in a second and why you shouldn't be worrying about it and enjoying the weekend with nicer weather on the way quickly. Tropical depression, Sally winds of 35 miles an hour. It's starting to pick up a little bit of forward speed, still not fast enough for I'm sure folks in Alabama and Georgia now northeast at nine, but it is at least moving on out. What helped us out and you can still see that on water vapor was an increasing southwesterly flow. That prevented the storm from ever making its way towards southeast Louisiana as we got into the last several days. And we're also seeing the southwesterly flow increase because there is a big upper level trough that is developing and will probably remain kind of parked over Texas and Mexico. That's going to come into play in our forecast. I'll tell you why in just a second. We're also watching a bit farther to the north, an upper trough that's going to be pushing in less humid air. And it does look like we're going to get into some of that for Friday but more so into the weekend as a second front moves on through and that dry air should really make it feel pretty comfortable. Also, a big upper ridge should keep that in place through the weekend. Now, I mentioned that southwesterly flow that may also help to drag over some moisture. So at the surface, we'll have that less humid air, but aloft will probably keep some cloud cover and maybe even a few showers. And not only are we watching that moisture surging up toward the northern Gulf Coast, we may be watching a little development of a system that is trying to form well south of Texas. And you can see it on satellite here. It was definitely and still is a little bit of a circulation. Now, not a very well defined, but it is definitely there. And thunderstorms are developing around that circulation. We'll see if anything can form. Right now, the Hurricane Center is giving it in the next two days a medium percent chance of developing, a 70 percent chance of developing in the next three to five days. However, at this same time last night, their percentages were only 10 and 20%. So that ramped way up today. We'll see what it does overnight and into tomorrow. But I say consider that we've got a front on the way and so we can rest easy this weekend because notice what the computer models are starting to do. Now I hate showing models because this is so soon in the development of a system that is not even there yet. So we know these can't really be relied upon, but it does show kind of an interesting trend that whatever tries to form, it would get kicked away from us because we are going to have that upper trough and cold front kind of suppressing any of that tropical moisture down to our south. So anything that does try and organize looks like it is really going to struggle to make it very far north into the north central Gulf of Mexico through the weekend and into early next week. This is what the computer models are saying for Sunday. The Euro does develop a system but keeps it generally in the western Gulf of Mexico. In fact, the long range Euro kind of keeps it there for a while before ever doing anything. The GFS notice not quite as aggressive with developing anything, really just an open open wave. In other words, a lot of rainfall. There is still time to watch that, but know that we're not going to get anything this weekend and even early next week. That drier air mass will keep any of that down to the south of us.